We've made great progress, if you can probably see in the background, the, the equipment that's moving out here today. So back in May, it was just little white flags stuck up in the, in the field in the background, and uh, now it's pretty much a completed section there behind us. And uh, uh, to get a perspe pros perspective of scale, it's, uh, somebody might see the drone picture flying over it, but we were talking that we need to park a pickup truck down in the bottom of that thing just to show everyone how, uh, how wide and deep the, the canal section actually is. Uh, I've heard it time and again, they say, my gosh, I was over there two weeks ago and went back by today and, and my gosh, those guys are moving some dirt. And uh, uh, I think this first section had uh, 600,000 yards of dirt to be moved in it. Their target is to be finished by Thanksgiving. Um, this construction started July the 1st is when the tractors arrived. So in six weeks, five, actually probably five weeks, we had, a, had about a four and a half inch rain event in the middle of it. Uh, they're half done. It's, I think we heard today that they've moved about 300,000 yards of dirt. When, when we first started raising rice on the Grand Prairie, which was over 100 years ago, uh, there were advertisements and postcards of the water coming out of a, a new well they had just drilled. And those were nine and five eighths inch pipes and they were on a 45 degree angle and it would shoot water out two or three feet. Two to 3,000 gallons a minute. Now then, on the Grand Prairie in those same places, we might get 600 gallons a minute. So the water's not there that used to be there. This construction we're doing right now will replace any need for Grand Prairie to be pumping out of Sparta. We've got a well on our place. It's 956 feet deep. It pumps about 2,000 gallons a minute. We couldn't farm without it. But would I like to? I sure would. This project we're doing now, in my mind, it is essential if we're going to continue agriculture as we know it in the Grand Prairie. The bottom line and the whole objective is for us to supply water to take care of their groundwater depletion. At the same time, it's got to be something that the farmers can afford. Um, right now, we're, we're kind of aiming at the uh, Hazen Airport, which is west of the town of Hazen, about 10 miles. So um, hopefully we can keep progressing and, and, and uh, speed, speed the transition from one section to the, to the next. And we're, we're kind of confident that we'll be able to do that. Once, once we demonstrate that we can do all this, well then it's just doing it over and over and over down the line. So I, I'm more excited about this project now than I've ever been before. We're going to get it done. We're going to solve the water problem on the Grand Prairie.